Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay Will. Smartphone conversations. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I have uh, Samsung's latest offerings right here. The S7 and the S7 Edge. These are both mine. Uh, they're both good to go. They're updated to Nugget. Uh, to my surprise, Samsung dropped Nugget on us a while back and I've been really happy about that. Uh, but more importantly, uh, the Nougat update pretty much just kind of made these phones look like they updated the Grace UI, and I hate to say it, you just kind of get your your baby Note 7 in the software. That That's pretty much it. Um, they, they definitely are two phones that are really impressive in performance. Um, you know, having Nougat on here though, and I don't have the, I have, obviously I have a skin on here, uh, but if I go into settings here, Having having Nugget on here, um, you know, it's I don't see the the jump in performance like a lot of people say. Like, oh, I don't want to sample and pay. Um, when people say, you know, oh, man, you know, I can't wait to, you know, get Nugget on my phone, and you know, it's there, you know, and you know, honestly, if you remember my review of the Note Seven, um, the software, I wasn't really a fan of the software. On the Note 7 at first, because I felt like they buried like simple ways to navigate through the phone, and I still feel like that. You know, I, this one I put on um, 7.0 immediately when the update came in, and then this one right here, I, I didn't do it right away. But I thought, you know, it's going to just stay up there and keep asking me to to uh, update. So I'd say, you know what, just update it. Either you know, I'm going to do it eventually. So, but I do notice a difference in performance between these two. So and. What I notice is the S7 appears to run a little bit smoother in day-to-day -day usage than the S7 Edge. Now, I mean, that, that just could be, you know, it needs to be broken in some more, I don't know. But I definitely have had, I've, I've had the Nugget update on this one a little bit longer. Uh, but this phone definitely runs smooth. They both run pretty good. I've just noticed that opening some applications on the S7 Edge tend to slug a little bit and they, they chug along uh, and then if I do it on a different phone, or if I do it on this phone, uh, or this phone right here, uh, well, not this phone, because this phone has a little bit of lag. Uh, just any other phone that I have laying around. I, I got so many phones laying around, but the fact is, if I'm comparing these two, uh, I think Nugget runs better on my S7 for some reason. Now, I don't know, like I said, it could be just that it's needed to be broken down a little bit more. I need to use them a heck of a lot more. Um, but I, I use these about the same, you know, so I don't understand why one is not performing as well as the other one. So to give you a little bit more detail, um, I've noticed that there on this one, applications open a little bit slower than this one. Uh, like, when I'm, like when I'm really trying to do something, like I click it and I'm waiting for it to open. It's like, wait a minute, come on, open up. Uh, and on, on, on this one right here, it just pops right up. It, it, it just pops right up. So, you know, clear the cache partition on this one right here. So, uh, I'm hoping that that'll help it out and make it feel as speedy as this one here. Um, again, they're, I know they're two different devices, but they have the same internals, uh, you know. So, but I, you know, I'm pushing a bigger screen on here, but that that doesn't matter. And also, I keep my screens at the highest one. I know that you can adjust the um, the settings for the display, but I keep mine at Quad HD because I want to have the best uh, display that I can at all times, and that really doesn't affect my battery too much. So I've been on, um, since I'm on uh, Nougat, uh, and I have them adjusted to, to, to the Quad HD, um, well, 2K, um, I've, I've, I've noticed that my battery life on the S7 Edge is about it's, uh, over five hours of screen on time, and I only have to charge once. Like, it takes me into the next day. Uh, and with the, with the S7, um, I'm still getting good battery life and everything, uh, and it's uh, it also it's actually a little bit less. Uh, before the Nugget update, I was getting probably about f almost five on here, because when phones get used a lot, they definitely wear down over time. And uh, but this phone was getting about five. Now I do ha I'm gonna have to do some extended, some more extended testing on my S7 uh, because the S7 was getting about five. With regular usage but it lasted definitely almost like a day and a half close to five now i'm getting under five but i'm still lasting the, it's about the same type of battery life on the s7 edge 
I'm grabbing five pretty much every time or a little over five. Uh, and again, I have it at the Quad HD. There's no ultra power saving motor or anything being used. I'm just getting that on a charge. Like every single charge, I'm getting at least five hours of screen on time with this. And you know what? I'm more than happy with that because look, look at these. These are two beautiful devices. And you know, they're, they're definitely, these are the clear carbon fiber skins. I've already done a video on these. If you haven't seen it already, check that out. I'll probably link it in the description. Uh, but you know, having Nugget on the phone to me, I, I've, I've, I've got another video out up. If it's not already out, it's on the Z Max Pro. Uh, but you know, having Nugget, getting the latest Android updates on phones now, to me, and this is just how I feel. If it's not a Nexus device or it's not a stock Android device, I don't care whether it gets the update or not. I really don't because the phone's gonna pretty much look the same. It's not gonna convert it to a stock Android phone. The skins are still gonna be on the devices, whichever ones you have. I mean, again, if it's not a Nexus, if it's not a Pixel, you're gonna st it's gonna look exactly the same or they'll just update the skin. And so I don't see the, the excitement behind people saying, oh man, I gotta get Nugget. I was excited and pumped up too, uh, but after that, it was just kind of like, okay, so I got Nugget, now what? Like, okay, I'm still using my phones. You know, they're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're the same, you know? So I'm just still trying to find out what's so exciting about getting Nugget updates and security patches. And I say that in another video because I have phones that are still on the older software and they run just as good, if not smoother than some of the phones that I have on Nugget. But nonetheless, both of these phones run like a champ. They run pretty good. It's just that I've noticed that this S7 is performing uh, a little bit better than the S7 now, that the, uh, the S7 Edge, now that I have it on Nugget. So it's unfortunate I can't go back because I didn't do any testing of the two prior to bumping it up to um, 7.0. I just use them, you know, so, so I, I really only updated on this one because I got tired of the notification popping up. I had every intentions on not putting this one on 7.0 just to kind of do some things, but I just I just got up one day and said, oh, let me just put this thing on Nugget. And you know, now I can't go back to do any kind of testing. So if you have both of these phones, let me know uh, how your S7 is running. Is it running better than your S7 Edge or vice versa? Does your S7 Edge run better than your S7? Um, if you don't have both of these phones and you have either one of these, which one do you have? How do you like it so far now that it's on Nugget? Now these are the T-Mobile variants. Um, they're unlocked because you know they're paid for, but these are the T-Mobile variants. So, you know, recently T-Mobile dropped the update on on their S7, S7 Edge. So, you know, you tell me how yours is running. Do you see any great improvements? I mean, be honest. Do you really see any improvements going to Nugget besides it changing to Grace UI? It looks a little different, but I mean, really, do you see that many improvements over it? So. Uh, Shaman J. Will, let me know in the comments uh, and let's talk about because Nugget it seems to be floating around, you know, all over the place. Oh, I got to get Nugget. I got to get Nugget. And, you know, now that I have it on multiple devices, I just don't see the, the excitement. It's just to say that I have it, I guess. You know, really? I mean, why are you, why are so many people excited to have Nugget? You know, is it just to say that you have the latest <laughs> update or what? I don't, I don't know. You know, one other thing is Google Assistant is coming to all Android phones pretty much. So, uh, that's gonna, that's gonna be a good thing. So once you get the Google services update, you'll be able to use the Android Assistant. So there you go. S7 and S7 Edge, um, they are now on the update. This man J. Will, let me know what you think in the comments. Take care.